Hello Mom Petit and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new H&M haul. I have to preface this and say this might be one of my favourite hauls I've ever done because I don't know about you but I am ready for the autumn styling. I don't want to be wishing away the nice weather but I'm ready to start thinking about those pre-autumn pieces, some cute little knits, some layering pieces, new shoes, new accessories. Oh we have it all in this video. I cannot wait to get into it. I'm not gonna lie I feel like H&M at the moment is a dangerous place to be because they are just releasing so many beautiful pieces at the moment gorgeous knitwear bits really lovely pre-autumnal pieces that you can add into your wardrobe now that will stand you the test of time that you'll be able to wear all throughout the autumnal season i cannot wait to jump into this video so let's get straight into it and i can show you what i've been picking up from h&m for autumn. I'm not gonna lie, normally I like to save some of the best pieces till last, but I couldn't help myself. I just needed to show you this at first in the haul, because I know you guys are going to go nuts for this little knitted cardigan. As you can tell, we are loving the knitted cardigans at the moment. I feel like they're just the perfect autumnal piece to add into your wardrobe now. They're so versatile in their styling. I've literally been wearing them with everything, with slip skirts, with jeans, with linen trousers, with tailored trousers. I absolutely adore them and I feel like they're the kind of piece that is so easy to style dependent on the weather like you can change up the outfit with it and they just look so elevated oh my goodness me they always look so much more expensive than they actually are and this to me looks very me and M, very kind of totem vibes it looks like you can add an extra zero onto the end of the price tag this is less than 30 pounds which i think is just absolutely incredible and considering the cost per where i've already gotten out of these cardigans i feel like it's pennies at this point because i've been wearing them so so much but i love the creamy tones in this cardigan and the big black piping i feel like it's just what really really elevates this this to me is a very blair waldorf kind of a cardigan but i wear it a little bit more casual than blair waldorf I just love the styling of this and I feel like it's one of those pieces you can so easily dress up or dress down. I love the button details as well. It's got the really beautiful gold buttons. They're almost this like matte kind of detail which I feel like just again adds to that elevatedness. It makes it look so much more expensive and they're a little bit cropped so I really really love the styling of them. Now I like to size up in these. I get them in a large and I'm normally a medium at h and I'll leave all the sizes linked down below as well just in case I forget to reference any of them but I do find going up a size is just the perfect fit to me. It just gives me a little bit more wiggle room for them to be a little bit looser but oh my goodness me this cardigan I feel like is going to be a piece that I reach for so, so much this autumn. It is just absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness me, how gorgeous is this? cardi it is just the perfect piece to add into your autumn wardrobe i love how creamy the tone is actually i've just paired it with this pair of trousers these are just my absolute favorites they're from mango i'll leave them linked down below if you do want to shop them because i always get questions about them whenever i feature them in vlogs or in hauls or in reels they are just so so comfy and they always pair beautifully with these cardies as i said they're a little bit more cropped so i feel like they sit so nicely personally on my torso obviously being a petite girl i really struggle with the kind of like length of tops i'm only five foot exactly so it's really really nice that this fits so beautifully i also believe this actually came with a matching skirt if i remember correctly so i'll leave that link down below if you do want to go full blair waldorf vibes for me i just love the cardigan by itself i just think it pairs so beautifully with the trousers but also will go so beautifully with skirts with jeans with other kinds of trousers i just think it's such a gorgeous piece and so perfect to add into my autumn wardrobe and do you want to know why? I know I'm going to get the use out of that cardigan because I actually already have a different colorway in my wardrobe. Now this isn't actually a new in, but in case you're new around here and you've not seen it, I thought I would just show you because it does look like they've re-released this and brought this back in more sizes, which excites me so much because the first time I showed this to you guys, you went nuts for it. So I would love to know actually whether you want more of the cream with the black piping or the black with the white piping. A can of a girl. Comment down below black or cream i would love to know but this has been one that i've worn so so much already i wore this on my birthday weekend i've been wearing it all throughout summer i think i picked this up in may it's already gotten so 
much use. I'm very much a black in summer kind of a gal. What I love about this one is that it's a really, really lightweight knit. So perfect this time of year when we still do have quite warm weather. I love pairing these with like linen trousers or something really lightweight to kind of counteract that like autumn-y vibe with something a little bit more summery. I find that so perfect when it comes to the transitional season. In fact, if you are struggling with transitional styling at the moment and you're unsure with what to wear, I'll leave a link to my summer to autumn transitional video, which just gives you a few little tips and tricks on how to style at this time of year. But this was something a little bit more summery. I absolutely love, but again, as I said with the cream one, I feel like it's so easy to take it into autumn and just start styling it up with like thicker fabrics, jeans, tailored trousers, twill trousers. These cardigans honestly have just been my go-to all throughout the summer and I can't wait for them to continue to be my go-to all throughout autumn. This has just been my favourite way to style this cardigan this summer. Cute little knitted cardi with a pair of linen trousers because I feel like that juxtaposition of like a warmer fabric with a very summery fabric really works in this weird transitional season. I also need to wear it with white linen because it's a lot more white. The other one is very creamy. This one's definitely a bit more of a cooler tone white. Also, just to say, I do get a lot of questions about whether the buttons are real buttons. They are. You can undo them. So you could wear it like a jacket if you wanted to. That could be really cute with like a little cami underneath, but such stable cardigans to have in your autumn wardrobe. I'm so excited to get even more wear out of this one this autumn. Next up is something that I've been on the hunt for for such a long time to get at a high street price. I'm not going to lie to you. I could have bought this from a much much more expensive store ages ago but I didn't want to spend a huge amount of money I wanted to find something that is so beautiful but at a high street price and I've been on the hunt for a beautiful black knitted cardigan for ages I do find a cardigan is one of those pieces that is just so key in your autumn wardrobe it's one of those items that I feel like is quite understated sometimes forgotten about but actually worn so much especially if you're here in the UK because we have such fluctuation in temperatures throughout the day and even like day by day you never really know what weather you're going to get so I'm the kind of person that I love being able to layer I love having like layering items with me so that I can chuck it on and chuck it off depending on if I'm too hot or too cold especially if you like work in an office maybe it's air conditioned you get a little bit chilly these are the perfect kinds of pieces to have with you and I fell in love with this cardigan I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful elevated high street cardigan with this amount of detail before look at the buttons it's got the most beautiful gold buttons they're like this almost like gold ball they look so so stunning in fact they're actually really similar to the knit that I've got on this is almost like a bigger version I didn't even realize that before but I absolutely love it and I feel like it really adds to that elevation it really adds to that almost exclusivity in the cardigan so it looks like it's cost you so much more money than it actually has and for me a black knitted cardigan is just essential because you can style them up in so many different ways. I feel like a cardigan is the kind of piece where it can be so many different outfits. You can wear the cardigan in itself just with a pair of trousers. You can chuck it over a dress. You can put it over jeans. You can add it over a shirt. Like it's the kind of piece that just goes with everything. So having a beautiful knitted cardigan I think is really important to add into your autumn wardrobe. And I have to say, I think I have found it. I think I have nailed it with regards to the perfect black knitted cardigan to add Add into your wardrobe this is honestly just beautiful oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness this card again this cardigan I literally feel like it looks like I've dropped an extra two zeros on the end of the price tag it looks like it is such an expensive piece that you've picked up literally on Bond Street or something this is giving it serious Elizabeth James vibes it is just so elegant and elevated and I love how it looks done up as I said a cardigan is one of those pieces I just feel like you can get so much wear out of I love how it looks done up with the trousers again it's going to pair really beautifully with jeans with skirts but you can also wear it just over the top of something. You can also even just chuck it over the shoulders. You know I love doing that. It's a very blogger thing to do. It's a very Instagrammer thing to do, but I do love it because it does add such a warmth, just adding it over your shoulders, tying it like a scarf, and then you can wear it if you get a little bit chillier, like properly, and you can wear it like this if you are freezing cold. You have so many options, which I love. And I especially think wearing it very monochromatically really elevates it as well. It's just one of those pieces that I think I am going to get so many questions about this. Every time I feature this on Instagram or here on YouTube, I feel like this is one of those pieces that everyone's going to ask me where this is from. So 
I would say run. Don't walk to pick up this Kylie. This is just absolutely beautiful. On to accessories. Now is the time of year that I always love updating my hair accessories. And if there is something I always adore, it is my hair bands. I love a headband at this time of year, especially because those of you that have been following the vlogs will know I've been growing out my hair a little bit at the moment. And I've been kind of struggling with it. You know, when it's at that awkward stage, and you're struggling with the styling a little bit and you're not really sure how to wear it. Oh my goodness me. A headband is such an easy way just to add a little bit of detail to your outfit, get your hair off of your face a little bit, but just look so elegant. It looks so elevated. I absolutely adore a headband at this time of year. And I always pick them up at H&M because they're super affordable. They last a really long time. I bought them from other high street stores before. I've literally had them like stretch out of place. I've had them fray. I've had them completely come undone at the seam. Whereas the H&M ones last a really, really long time. So I just picked myself up a new pack of headbands. They've got loads of different colors, but for me, the blacks, the browns, the darker tones are just my absolute favorite. But H&M is always my go-to when it comes to headbands in the autumn. H&M is also my go-to when it comes to hair bows. I love the hair accessories. They have so many gorgeous like clips and accessories and bands and bows and oh my goodness me, I should not be saying the C word in September, but when it comes to Christmas hair accessories, I just love a hair bow moment. In fact, let me put some photos here of all the hair bow moments I've had over the year because I absolutely adore it. I feel like it's such an easy hairstyle. It's very festive. It's the perfect thing to style up in like November, December time. And now is the time to be picking them up because they do sell out quite quickly. And H&M is one of the most affordable places to get your hair bows. I have some in my collection that are stupid money. And I kind of wish that I hadn't spent that much on them when you can get them pretty much identically from H&M. And I honestly just absolutely adore them, especially with growing my hair out. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I love a half up, half down hair bow moment. So I've got two here to show you. They have so many different styles, loads of different colors. I'll just leave a link to their hair accessories down below if you do want to check them out. But I've got this beautiful one. Just a bit more understated, a little bit more kind of demure, which I absolutely adore. I think it's really, really cute. And then this one's like a little bit, a little bit more extra, which I love the fact that it's got the kind of like drop detail going up with the ties. They are just so beautiful, so easy when it comes to styling and elevating an outfit, especially during the festive period. But I'm sorry, I know I'm getting so ahead of myself. I should be shocked saying the C word in September, but I just can't help myself. As soon as I see them, it just makes me think of festive at styling it. As I said, now is the perfect time to pick them up. Okay, I'm gonna stop getting ahead of myself and bring it back to some September styling with an item that I feel like is so perfect to add into your wardrobe at this time of year. And an item I'm not gonna lie to you, I have struggled with so much in the past. I've never been able to find the one and I've never been able to quite make it work. And that is a boxy oversized tee. Now I have some gorgeous tees in my wardrobe that I wear really regularly that are a little bit more fitted, that are a little bit more style, but I've really struggled with that kind of oversized look. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm shorter girl, if it's because I'm quite petite that they just drown me, or it's because I'm quite curvy, like I've got big hips and I do find that they often sit at a very unflattering point on my hips. Whereas this one, it's a little bit more cropped. So I feel like this could be the one. We may have just nailed it. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think this could be really, really cute. And it does actually come in a few different colorways. They've got the white, they've also got black and they had a third one that's gray. I'll leave them linked down below. I can't remember exactly the third color, but look at the button details on the side. I just thought it was so gorgeous. Again, looks really, really elevated. I feel like H&M are just nailing it at the moment with those pieces that look so much more expensive than they actually cost. This is from the divided range. So, you know, it's the even more affordable range at H&M, even more accessible, which makes me so, so happy. So fingers crossed, this might finally be the tea to add into my wardrobe, the boxy oversized tea that I've been looking for for such a long time. And if if it is, you know I'm going back to pick up the black as well. <laughs> okay, I need your guys' advice on this. I've just paired it with a pair of denim jeans. These honestly are just my favorites. They're from River Island, the perfect jeans. If you are a petite girl, I'll leave them linked down below. But what do we think of the tee? I don't know if I like it. I kind of feel like I'm trying to make fetch happen and it's never gonna happen. You know what I mean? I don't know if I've gone too oversized. I went for a large and sometimes at H&M they do oversize their pieces. So maybe a medium would have been better. 
that i'm not sure also because of the fact that it's so oversized you can't even really see the gold button detail so i don't know if this one's gonna go back i'm not sure help a girl out is this a keep or is this a return am i trying to make fetch happen is fetch never gonna happen i kind of feel like i am i'm not gonna lie this year has been the year that i've discovered h&m footwear in fact let me show you the pair that first converted me to h&m shoes these beautiful sling bags i picked them up just over a month ago and i have not looked back and i'm not gonna lie before now i'd never tried h&m footwear before and i didn't really know what to expect but i'm so impressed with these they're so comfortable i do find with h&m footwear i'm between sizes i'm about a three and a half and i do need to go down to a three so just something to note especially when it comes to a sling bag when it comes to something that you want to be quite tight fitting it has a little bit of stretch to it so you kind of have a little bit more room to play with going down than you do going up these have converted me i'm absolutely obsessed with h&m footwear now and I have two new pairs to show you, both of which need to be included in my High Street That Looks High End series because, oh my goodness me, look at these, the most beautiful pair of ballet flats, which looks like you have literally bought them at Chanel. They are so similar to the Chanel ballet flats. I honestly could not believe it when I saw these online and I just had to pick them up. I love a ballet flat at this time of year. I was so excited when they resurfaced and came back on trend two or three years ago and they definitely have not gone anywhere since they've become such a staple in so many of our wardrobes and I feel like especially during the transitional period they're perfect when you're swapping from like your open toe shoes to something closed toe but you're not quite ready for the full-on winter boots you just want something that's a little bit more transitional and i feel like a ballet flat is perfect and they go with so much in my wardrobe i love wearing them with slip skirts i love wearing them with jeans even with tailored trousers i think they work so well and they're the kind of footwear that i feel like you can wear anywhere you can wear into the office you can wear them for work wear. you can wear them at the weekend you can wear them a little bit more dressed up they are just such staples and when i saw this pair i just had to pick it up so as i said i've gone for a three i've gone for half a size down so i'm hoping they're going to fit beautifully but oh my goodness i think these are going to be such a great addition into my shoe wardrobe into my footwear wardrobe for autumn now this is a seriously ellie in autumn outfit i've just tried on the ballet flats with this look and i am so so in love now you know how much i adore my slingbacks i really think they are the perfect piece for kind of a bit more of like an elevated look but i feel like ballet flats are just a bit more daytime i feel like they're perfect for like office wear they're perfect for weekend styling and i just absolutely adore these they fit perfectly i love how they fit and i love the colorway i always find this little kind of pop of black very flattering especially if you're like me and you love the sandwich rule you love doing like a black top with a little pop of black on your shoes so safe to say these are going to be staying in my wardrobe a very very elevated piece that literally looks like they've come straight from chanel but cost you a fraction of the price i couldn't be happier with this little find and similarly with this pair of trainers i could not believe how high-end this high street shoe looks oh my goodness me how much do these look like adidas sambas and i have to say i think i probably would be a samba girl i'd probably have a couple in my collection if they weren't so below expensive oh my gosh i cannot bring myself to spend that much money on a pair of trainers i feel like i've really changed with regards to where i want to be spending my money particularly when it comes to high street versus high-end pieces and when it comes to designer trainers or at least luxury trainers i don't really know if adidas would count as designer but it just doesn't bring me joy it's not something i want to be spending my money on because i know especially when it comes to trainers i am going to be wearing them to death i'm going to be walking around london in them around the new forest in them they're gonna get scuffed they're gonna get marked they're gonna get bent and it will upset me so much if i've spent stupid money on a pair of shoes just for them to get ruined so i would much rather pick up a beautiful high street alternative that still looks really high end that still looks beautiful but it's not gonna upset me as much when they inevitably get ruined they're still just as comfortable they are still beautifully made but for a fraction of the price and i really love how similar these are in style to the sambas they're not a direct copy i hate it when brands do direct copies and will never buy fakes or direct copies in that sense something that's been inspired by something that's a little bit more of a dupe i absolutely adore so this pair of trainers i just fell in love with and they do actually do them in a few different colorways they do like a gray a beige i think they did a black as well so i'll leave them linked down below if maybe you're a little bit worried about the white i don't blame you i know that these are going to end up probably turning a little bit brown after i've worn them for a while but i just love the style of them i know they're going to go with so much in my wardrobe and for the price of them 
they are such a steal. You can tell I am loving this cardigan because I literally don't want to take it off. It even works with the jeans. I absolutely love it. And I am so in love with the trainers. How cute do these look? This to me is like the epitome of like, nobody's gonna know. No one's gonna know that these aren't actually Adidas Sambas. No one's really gonna know where your trainers are ever from anyway. But I take pride in saying it's from somewhere like H&M. I absolutely adore them. I just think the colorway is gorgeous. I love the kind of like rubbery sole. As you can see, I've still got the label on because I wasn't sure if I'm gonna keep them. But I think it is safe to say, Ugh, we can pull that off because they are definitely staying in my collection. I absolutely love how they look and I feel like they're the kind of trainer that I'm just going to be able to get so much wear out of throughout autumn. They're the kind that you can wear with skirts, with jeans, with trousers and they feel really comfortable so I think they're going to be great when it comes to like long autumnal walks. Oh my goodness, I could not be more obsessed with them. So sorry for the light in this video. I really hope it's not giving you a headache but it is just constantly changing at the moment. It has not been consistent at all today. It is such a blustery, very pre-autumn day. It feels quite representative of the weather we can expect over the coming months. And it's the kind of weather that is perfect for these kinds of outfits, but it does mean that the clouds are just going in and out at the moment and the sun is coming in and out, which means lighting is changing a lot. So I'm really, really sorry, but it is so blusterous and so autumnal. So I'm kind of loving it. It's quite enjoyable actually, especially when it comes to getting excited for the new pieces. And I'm not gonna lie, something that I'm loving that H&M have really been doing this year is being very representative. They're releasing a lot of styles that I feel like you would normally see at really, really high-end stores. Places like Ralph Lauren, Gant, Tommy Hilfiger. You are seeing at H&M for a fraction of the price. And these knitted tees, I would normally only see at really, really expensive stores. So it's so exciting to be able to get them at H&M. And I actually first discovered these in my last H&M haul, the beautiful striped version. Let me show you it. <laughs> when the sun has come back out, just to really solidify what I was saying earlier, but you know how much we love a stripe at this time of year. And I picked this up in the last H&M haul that I did and I've been wearing it nonstop ever since. If you follow the vlogs, you've probably seen this a lot on my channel. And I wanted to pick up a couple of different versions of it so I bought this beautiful little beige alternative. Now I did decide to size up because this one I got in a medium and I just felt like it could have done with a little bit more room and especially if I'm going for something that's not got a lot of kind of like forgiveness to it. Obviously the beige colour I feel like you'll probably be able to see your underwear a little bit more through it. It's not going to have as much kind of like distraction. We're better off going for one size up. So I did pick this up in a large and oh my gosh I feel like it's just going to be the perfect piece. This to me is very Elizabeth Jane. If you know what I'm talking about, from the parent trap, just very elegant, very elevated, just started with like a pair of jeans or a pair of tailored trousers. It just looks so understated, yet so elevated, and that is what I love with my autumnal style. And I really like these because they're a little bit thicker than a tee, so they're so perfect when the temperatures start to drop a little bit, when it starts to get a little bit cooler, it just keeps you that little bit warmer. This beigey color, I think is just gonna be such a staple in my autumn wardrobe, and this is gonna be a top I get so much wear out of. Now, because of the colorway of this, I was really unsure what I was going to style it with. I figured that the cream trousers will probably be a bit too much kind of like monotone. The linen trousers will be a bit too cool next to the warm tone of the knits. I've just it on with the jeans and I kind of love it. I think it works really, really well. Again, giving me very Elizabeth James vibes. It's just very like understated, very effortless, kind of like walking around Notting Hill on a Sunday, you know, going to the market. I just absolutely love it. And you can definitely elevate these tops with like beautiful jewelry, beautiful styling, but I'm very glad I went for the large. I think the medium would have just, it would have just been a bit too snug. I always like it when I have a little bit of wiggle room and I can just kind of like fold it up and I can just wear it a bit more casually. I really, really like that, especially if you're like me and you quite like high-waisted trousers. I think it just works a little bit better. So love this little knitted tee. I think this is gonna be such a staple in my autumn wardrobe. Now, I did also pick it up in what I thought was the exact same version, but in black, but it turns out this is slightly different. Those two are from the divided range, which makes them so much more affordable. They are actually under 10 pounds, which is just absolutely insane. This is a little bit different. So I picked it up in a 
of large again and I'm looking at it thinking that might be a little bit big so I might have to return this and exchange it for a medium but we'll try it on and see this is another beautiful knitted top and I just love them at this time of year I feel like they're so easy to style so easy to wear they're those very foundational pieces to have in your wardrobe I know I talk about this a lot but I do feel like especially when it comes to autumn styling the items that you want to get right that you want to nail are those basic pieces those items that create the foundation to your outfits and a top like this I think is exactly that so we'll try it on and see we might have to exchange this for a medium but regardless it's such a beautiful little knitted tee and such a staple piece to have in your autumn wardrobe oh I am actually really going to need your help with this whether I do keep it in the large return and exchange for a medium because I kind of love how loose it feels I feel like it's a really really lovely just like oversized kind of tee but then is it too oversized would it look better if it was just a little bit more fitted because obviously it's such a like heavy fabric that it doesn't tuck all that well so I'm really unsure do we keep the large do we exchange for a medium I'm really gonna need your help I am so undecided I think instead of Alcoholics Anonymous, I need to go to Cardigans Anonymous because I have so many in my wardrobe now, but I just wanted to let you know about this one because this is the one that you would have seen in my last video. I am so obsessed with this. It's such a beautiful little cable knit design and they have actually released it in so many new colorways. We've got a beautiful burgundy, we've got a gray and we've got a black and I was this close to ordering a couple of colors, but I just couldn't. I, I was like, Ellie, you can't. You really will need to go to Cardigans Anonymous if you do. So I thought I would just tell you about the new colorways because especially if you're wanting to add in some trend pieces, if you watched my autumn winter trends video, you will know that, that deep cherry red is very in right now it's the perfect piece to add into your wardrobe if you want to stay very on trend but if you want something a little bit more timeless and classic the whites the grayish and the black are so so beautiful so i just wanted to tell you about those and lastly i just had to tell you about these cardigans because i cannot tell you how many dms i get weekly asking about these knits asking about whether they're in stock where they're from where you can shop them they are very excitingly restocked both colorways so i just wanted to let you know because they are going to go like that so i'm really hoping they're still going to be in stock when the video goes live if not definitely add on the notify me little icon add your email in and they will tell you when they come back or if not i will let you know on stories because you guys have been loving them and they have definitely been restocking them they can tell that these are everybody's favorites because they're just so versatile so easy to style and of course i have to get them in both colorways because you know me if i like it i'll just get it in another color <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but this haul has gotten me seriously excited for autumn. I feel like I'm ready now. I'm ready for the cozy knits. I'm ready for the autumnal styling and the lovely layers at this time of year. Bring on the new season. Although I would say this is probably more of like a pre-autumn haul, like a pre-fall kind of styling. Just prepping our wardrobes, getting ready and adding in those few pieces that are just going to help us transition our wardrobes into the new season. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been picking up if you do want to have a little browse on H&M be warned it is a dangerous place to be at this time of year but they have so many gorgeous new in pieces to add into your wardrobe ready for autumn ready for the new season so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't hit the subscribe button I would love it if you hit it now you can come and join me fashion videos every Thursday and vlogs every Monday I've got so much more autumnal styling coming that I am so excited for so I hope you are too I will see you guys in the next one Bye.